Hello and welcome back to the Foot Manager 2023 save. I know it's been a while. I know I've been taking a bit of a while to make a video. Maybe I've been stressed by making other videos. Or maybe I've just been absolutely lazy. I'm going to choose the second one, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the usual. And I'm going to do it right now. Here we go. And my choice for my first save is Chester. Now, I've planned for this season, this series on this Fort Manager is I want to get at least five teams from the Vanderbilt North and South up to the Premier League. I want to win Champions League. I want to go to the top as a kind of number one club, basically. That's my goal. And the first team I'm going to do with is with Chester. No real reason, I just. I just kind of chose them, really. So, uh, yeah. Let's begin with Chester and see what we do, shall we? And here we are. So, the first we're going to do. We're going to check out what we are predicted for the season. So, we're going to go to the league. This is who, in the competition, we are dealing with. So, we are predicted a 10th place. So, pretty much middle of the table. I've not looked at the team yet. I've not looked at any of the budget yet. But this is what we predicted. Honestly, I will look at the squad. And I will decide then for myself. It will say 10th, but we'll see what we can do. Let's have a look, shall we? So this is the squad, and what I've noticed, it's quite a big squad. This is currently, hold on, this is 26, this is a, quite a lot of players. I mean, let's start looking at our key players. Anyone both a three star, so we've got, what is this, we've got about eight, we've got eight people above a three star, which is good. And below that, you know, you start looking beyond that, of course. It's a big squad, and you don't need that many for this league, because the way it is, yes, it's nice to have some, but 26, between 20 is fine. So I'm going to see what I can do about that, but for now, let's have a look at some more key players. I'm seeing here already some young players who have good potential and current. So I see on here, it's not bad looking from Acton, formerly of... Our best player is Alex Kenyon, who is also an under 18s coach, which is something I didn't see uh, or expect, but it is what it is. Very good player, actually. Formula is Morecambe. Not bad at all. We've got a player who is injured for 10 months. Jeez, that's going well. Don't know what the story behind this one is, but I'll keep an eye on that. But yeah, going down, we've got some younger players here. We've got a few on loan from Preston and Everton. Okay. So just a heads up, my goalkeeper is on loan from Everton, so to keep an eye on that one. So at any, any point, is he able to be recalled? He can be, so to keep an eye on that one. Apart from that, nothing really bad in terms of areas. I'm going to have to now decide if we have good wingers or if we don't have a formation that fits wingers. That's something I've got to pretty much decide now. So I've been looking at what we got, and we don't have wingers that can naturally play at a decent level, in my opinion at least. But this sort of formation I could get working, if I could just find a striker who could be a target forward, and have a good, maybe someone to play, I don't know if this is final yet, but this is a small plan I've got in my head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the best I can in our squad, uh, and I'll come back to what I do of course, but when I do, I'll fill in the blanks that I need and go from there. So this is the current squad, so the things I've got up currently is good squad, decent, okay backups in the bench, so on the bench I have a right back and we can play left back as well, which is good overall for us, which I'll definitely keep around. Then we've got a centre back, two centre backs potentially, and two to play in field, and one I'm going to try and get to play uh, attacking midfield as well. So currently, this is how we have things set up, we just need to find someone who can play this role perfectly. Because I've looked at the squad, this guy, Owen Murray, looks absolutely incredible as a tackle midfielder. Don't matter what you say, but I think he is. Also, 17 for a kick taking. Could be easy goals, in my opinion. This guy looks really good, though, so I'm going to keep an eye on how he does. He has fairly good potential, I'd say probably League 2, lower end. That's probably pushing it, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, that's my plan for that. Apart from that, everyone else is fairly good. Of course, I have to remember that. Uh, our goalkeeper could be recorded at any time. Maybe we give him another season. I doubt that because he has a contract 2025. So yeah, we'll see about that one. But that's uh, that's a future me problem. 
That could also be done as a uh, bad foreshadowing. Anyway, first thing I'll be doing now is obviously looking for someone who can play the role of a uh, target uh, striker. He doesn't have to be incredible, he just needs to be able to at most win most of the headers down and flick on. That's all he needs to do. That is literally his entire role. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'll be back with you when I make. I don't know how much time I'll get. I've already got £500 to ready to work with, so. Probably gonna get one or two players, but that's about it, honestly. So I'm going to look for that now, and they're probably back for the first game of the season. I don't, I've not even looked yet, actually. Who do I play? I play Alfton. Okay, so. It's probably, this is me definitely not plugging, but it, I'm kind of plugging my Twitch. Um, I play Alfton as my t team on Twitch, who I League 2 right now. So this is kind of a coincidence almost, but you know what? We'll take it, but for now. Let's go, uh, let's go make some signs if we can, and I'll be back for you soon. So it's been a few days, in, well, a few in sailors. Uh, I've just been looking at my under 18s, and I've got quite a few spicy looking players, so um, this could be interesting when I get good. So I'm going to see if maybe I can sort out a loan for them. Because I can't exactly just guarantee playtime, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can do that, and if it does, keep an eye out for the future, because you might see them soon in the actual match day squad. So. Here we are, we've made it, and now it's finally time for the first match of the season away against Alfton, and we have made a few signs, so I'll have a look, shall we? So, um, they ain't cheap, well, at least one of them's not cheap, most of them are on very little wage, literally cheapest chips, and there's just one, one of major signs, so, let's go over them, shall we? So, let's go from whence... We first signed them, and it's only four. These four, four here, and honestly, it flew by the time. But I was so in on trying to get one player who I missed out on. But luckily, I found one more player literally at the right time, and now we're here, of course. So let's start from the top, shall we? So, so Ahu Obak. I, you know what? Name is going too easy for me to say. So let's just go. Let's go Ahu for now. Uh, he, I don't, you know, it is what it is, but he, overall, he is a good cover player for attacking midfielder, also a striker. I'm not going to play as a winger, that's not still we use, but he can sort of play target uh, forward, but it's not going to be what he would always do. He would just be a general overall cover, which ain't too bad. He's okay, he's three star rule. You know, could be a leading fan around North in the future. I don't know how long it'll last. He's only here for a small amount of time. Very cheap contract, nothing too crazy about him. Former of Team Shelbourne, Team Spain, you know, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland Leagues, but he's not played much and we'll easily get a year or two out of him. That's really, he is, he's just a cover player and honestly, maybe 220 is a bit too much, but for what it was at the time, I, I just went for it. So, next player, Lewis Duncan, he's a backup for the attacking midfield role. This guy looks great, 20 years old, Scottish uh, player from the team of Fraserburg, I think I said correctly. He formerly of Aberdeen Academy, played a bit he has. Looks really good for his age and he has a fairly good amount of potential, so I honestly think he's pretty good. I mean, he's got a bit here and there to develop and you know, he's here for a while, it's on £50 a week, I said, he's very cheap and I've got a move. Like I said, fifth week, and I'd be very, very tempted just to keep him probably until he gets to that League 2 level because he could easily be a good cover, and I don't see him, you know, having a huge problem. Only thing I did notice when I did sign him, I didn't check at the time, he's injury prone. That's the only big problem I see. Next is Alex Aspil, and of Irish lad. He is another midfielder who could also play attack midfielder, a bit of depth for himself. He actually played a quite a fa few games, so you know he's got a little bit of experience himself. Twenty one years old, eighty pound a week. I said very cheap again. Got into twenty twenty four, so two years. So uh, yeah, he'll be around for a while. He's also very consistent, but once again, a little bit injury prone. Now, now that's for the big one. Okay, so I want to point out when I signed this guy, I was like, oh, he's great. So what do I see at start? Oh, he's four and a half star and a bit of potential. It's a bit more on that, you know, he's not a national and he's League 1 potential. You're thinking, how on earth have I managed to afford this? 
just, just hold on, hold on now. I'll show you a sec. But yes, it's fairly a small chance of being injury prone. That's okay. Being inconsistent, that's fine. You know, he's still young. He's 21, right? Former West Brom, been to Borough alone, Lincoln, and Cheltenham. Played only a tiny amount of games, but he's here for a while. But let's go over the contract. So, if, so the first thing you can see, 425 pound. Oh god, it's painful. It's painful. Um, let me tell you, I don't see any world where he gets all of these. But if he does, uh, <laughs> you know, I'll take the blame. But you know, he's taking a fair amount of wage. Uh, I will hopefully get him to another contract. He's only here for the end of this year, but I will obviously aim for an extra year at home. But hopefully, we don't sell him because I don't want to waste fifty percent of what he gets paid. That's not happening. But uh, he's worth quite a bit already. But yeah. Um, as soon as I signed this guy, uh, he was always read so we this is the day after we had the news news article that shows top player and top goal scorer. He was on both of them. So yeah. This is huge. I don't know how great it'll be, but I'm excited. He's gonna be he's gonna be pretty good. We're up to eighth now. My after looking at my squad, I think I can make playoffs. It'd be a push, but I think we can do it. But of course, first thing to do is take on Alperton. Let's get it. And here we go. First match season. You know, that's a bit slow. Hold on, let me just speed up the speed for you. There we go. But yeah, we're taking on Alperton. First game of the season, a wave. Um, I mean, I have a bit of experience knowing the squad of Alperton because I obviously do a Twitch save them. But yeah, I know for the fact they have incredible players. Is in jump and reach, uh, so corners I am a little bit worried about, but there we go. So far, a free kick for them. About 25 yards out, going in, and it's just wide. Okay, uh, it's just no, no need to panic, no need to panic. First, yeah, first chance, it's fine. I mean, I'm a little bit worried, not had any single shots yet. Now, I had one shot, but it's a 0.02 xg. Not looking too great, another free kick for them. I don't really like all these free kicks being given out in that. Honestly, yeah, fairly close range. Please save this. Oh my god, to hit it crosswise. It's a way. I'm sorry, I was used to seeing bread for out. <laughs> I was like, oh god, we're giving it away, but no. We were in blue, I keep forgetting this. I keep having a good game so far, but they are all over us, which is not what I want to see. So, at the half time mark, I got a lot to change up, I feel. Yeah, we're going to have to make a few changes here because we're already. So I'm going to go with. Uh, we've been lucky. Best to do. See how things go. I need to. I don't know. No one's making any decent runs by the look of it. And over eight shots and not a single one has been on target. That is worrying sign, if I'd say so myself. That's a long ball. Just make it step into now on the right side here. Across the box wall. It's 1 0. You know what? I gave him one of the money, he's gonna score. He's probably gonna bankrupt this club, but yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine, I'll sort that out. <laughs> I'll sort that out. Long ball over the top though, Stephenson gets onto it, no one's absolutely near him. He's clear, he's the easy little pass in. No problem. Nice little 1 0 for us. So what's gonna make changes, but now that kind of. I don't know, that changes a little bit. I'm gonna take off uh, Divine, he's got a yellow card, so I'll bring on Burke. He's a defender, but he's honestly he's an okay box to box. He can play it fairly well. He can tackle well, so you know what? That's that's his job. If you else want to change, maybe we'll. I'll, I'll think about that soon. But for now, we can go. Now we're we'll throwing now left side. Colton to Weeks to Murray. Cuts inside, shoots. Oh, oh, he's in. I thought it was going on, but Owen Murray is the second goal for us. Love a little goal that was. I thought it was going over. I'm sorry. I, my reaction was instantly like, is that going over? And obviously it wasn't. I was wrong. Nice little goal that. 2 0 towards. Gonna make another sub now. So, yeah, let's save, let's save a few legs, shall we? So, let's take a. You for your debut and maybe make one more change. Just get, I mean, Kenyon has a yellow card. I mean, I think for the fact that I don't want to risk it, I will just bring him off to secure it. I don't want him to get any chance of being sent off. That is not where I want the first game. 
I just want to control the game, I want to see it out. A third goal would be nice though. On the right now, Coates crossed in, Stefferson. Oh, he had a good chance there, he just headed way too high. But you know what? Good chance it was to make it 3 0, but of course not. I mean, they're still getting a lot of chances there. They their XG, by the way, is 1.55, but all of 0 0.94. Our two shots on target have gone in, and I will say that's pretty damn lucky on ourselves. So, I will, you know, oh, oh my god, what are we doing? Give it away too easily, then. Ah, sometimes I hate football to defend. I, that should never happen. They've had 19 shots, 10 on target. That is terrifying. <laughs> we need to work. We need to just, please, I beg of you, game. Is this a highlight or is this just a nothing highlight? This is what I'm trying to find out currently. Yeah, I'll go forward, but I should be able to get this ball. We do, but give me back. Come on, why? How are you going to pass like that to him? Please don't tell me this is a goal. Is that not a freak? Is that a corner? <laughs> is that not a corner? Uh, whatever. Please get this ball. Please. Please. Oh my god. Oh, I think that was my heart stopping for a second. Oh, okay. Well, still 2 1 to us. Oh, please. I can't take little highlights. I don't think I have it in me. Please just. Time waste. Somebody time waste. That's not time waste, and that's just giving a bullshit about them. That is not what I want. Please, I beg you, just control it. Calm. No, stu no stupid passes. Oh no. Please. Oh, we don't win that. But we do win this. That is scary doing that. Oh, my goodness. Still the ball, though. Now Stefferson, but... Loose ball going forward to no one. A little bit of a... Uh, poor passing going for us. Don't like that. Can we not play head tennis? That's great. Now to Weeks. Now to Obercon. I think it's Obercon. I'm going to say it is, but you know what? We don't know. Now with Murray go forward, gets around his defender. Oh, what a goal, Murray. Oh, he's he's robbed that defender's lunch money. He's actually robbed his lunch money. Okay, well, that is a little bit free one. Uh, it should secure the win. I mean, questionable defending. Gets around him and, oh. He's broke his ankles. Lovely goal. Maybe key of base is the better, but I would say I get 3-1 in the end. I don't see anything going crazy now. A minute left. And we are the f winners 3 1. Nice to see. Got some lads. And we're going to see the league table. And with that game, we are second, just behind Telford. We've won 3 1 as well. So we're joint, literally on goals, I guess. Yep. Same as Leamington. Yep. Okay. Peter Sprouts and Books and score a uh, 3 3 draw. Okay. That was quite an insane game, that was. But that is a good game. Um. Happy when it went on. Of course, that is the first game of the season. Now, where do we come back for? I'm trying to think of anything, you know, in my head that could up to be good for us. Um, who, who are considered, like, top of the table sides? File, Darlington, Kingsdown, Spennymore, Buxton. I'm just trying to look at sides like this. Um... Why don't we come back for Kings Lynn and spend more game? You know, start of the month. Nice little two games, one at home, one away. So yeah, let's come back for that game. Hopefully we have a good run until then. But thank you for watching this episode. I know it's been a while since I made any full match content. That's my fault. It happens. I, I have runs of a, you know, can't make videos because it's my head crazy. Anyway, main issues that I deal with. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I will be back for the next episode, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.